guys welcome back to another vlog i've tried to start this vlog like three times because i feel like it's been forever since i vlogged so i'm a little rusty but today is friday and i'm going to be bringing you guys along a weekend in my life because we have quite a bit of things going on this weekend not like uh, events or anything like that but more so like in-house stuff we are trying to get so many things done in the house this weekend so i wanted to bring you guys along I, and this morning i washed the sheets in our bed i cleaned our bathroom i kind of like decluttered some spaces as well because uh, we are going to be doing like some house projects so i was like it's so much easier to do house projects when your space is clean as opposed to like trying to do projects in a messy space so i did that and yeah i just worked for the whole day and also watched love is blind i'm on episode six i'm feeling a little like it's not like as exciting and like entertaining as last season but definitely still entertaining and i'm still tuning in so i was watching that and i'm determined to finish that through the night because i really want to get to the finale um but we're starting the weekend on a really exciting note because I got a very, very special delivery today. If you guys watch Vlogmas, um, you might have seen the vlog where Eric and I celebrated our anniversary and he bought me a new ring for our anniversary. So this is the ring that I have right now. It's the one obviously that I've had since we uh, got married three years ago. Is it three years? No, two years ago. Two years? We've only been... Oh my gosh, why am I forgetting 2019? It's only been two years? No, three years. We got married 2018. I'm tripping, I'm sorry. Yeah, two year, three years ago. So this is the, the wedding um, band and ring that I got when we got married three years ago. So he upgraded me this year, but it just got here today. So I'm gonna open it up with you guys. I told Eric, I was like, should I wait for you to get home? Cause he's not home yet from work to open it. But he said, no ma'am, go right ahead. So I'm opening it now. I'm so excited. It's actually a, mo a moissanite, I think is how you pronounce it, but it's not a diamond, it is a moissanite. This is the packaging, it says Zen Moissanite. This is the company that we got it from. Oh, it's custom, ethical, and sustainable is what it says. And it has a certificate of authenticity. I took a peek at it because I accidentally pulled just the top off, but this is her. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. It has the gold band. Oh my gosh. I feel like crying. I can't believe it. I didn't think I was going to have it so soon. It looks so beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on. I should have had Eric put, put this on. Is this is this mean? I mean, he told me to open it. I'm just going to surprise him with it when he gets home. Oh my gosh, I love it. It is so beautiful. And I think, wow. I think that looks so pretty. I think that I'm going to keep my old wedding band on. My friend Jen was telling me, you should play around with mixed metals and keep the current wedding band you have the silver one and just like mix the metal with the gold and i actually really love it wow i'm so so happy and i'm still keep keeping the first one this is the first one i'm gonna give this to our daughter so she could use it or our son so our son can use it for his wife or something like that you know i'm gonna keep it though because it's this one will hold a special place in my heart forever but i just feel like gold is so much more my style now so i'm really really excited to have this new one wow and so tonight we wanted to clean the garage and organize the garage and go pick up some items that we need for our diy project that we're going to be doing tomorrow but that's kind of a lot to do because it's already six o'clock and by the time eric gets home it's going to be like 6 15 6 20 so i don't really know how much time we're going to have to do all that and i want to grab dinner because it's friday night you know so we'll see. I guess we just should make space in the garage. We don't have to like deep clean, but I do want to make space because I want to have enough space to do everything that we want to do this weekend. So yeah, that's basically our plan for the day. So we just finished brainstorming our first DIY project of the weekend and it is this board wall that we want to do. This is the picture inspo. It's basically just paneling for our um, room and so we just finished writing out all the list of things that we need and also this i hope our project comes out a lot better than my drawing because this is not even at all but we just had to do like a rough drawing to know how much paneling to buy at um lowe's or home depot wherever we end up going 
then this is a list of things that we need i also wanted to paint one of the vanity desks that's in my room and my cousin actually helped me like brainstorm a list of things that i would need because the material for that desk is really it's really interesting it's just like a metal desk so i wasn't really sure how to go about painting it so she helped me out on that so we're gonna go to home depot to get everything that we need to get this project started some french style eggs some hash brown and some fruit and also um turkey bacon my favorite we're getting ready for our diy project of the day we're starting nice and early because i think that we're gonna need like how what's your um eric's here with me by the way what's your projection time it would be done in like five hours. By four. By four? That's a that's a very positive. I think like any project, the most time consuming thing is gonna be the prep time. Mm -hmm. Like moving all our furniture, measuring out where everything's gonna go. Yeah. Then once we have that you just put it on. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I showed yesterday what we're doing. I think we saved a lot of time by getting all our stuff yesterday. I don't know. That's what our day is gonna consist of. I'm so excited. I hope it's gonna be like, I feel like it's gonna be such a game changer in our room to have like that accent boarded wall. our progress so far we did all of the framing and then we, we're basically done we just well not entirely but we have we did all the vertical ones and then we did the first line of horizontal ones and then we did the second one down here just to make sure that we leveled it that we measured it right but um i'm impressed to say the least it's five o'clock and we got all of this done didn't expect it to go so smoothly obviously there's like areas for improvement like over here we have to caulk all of this because there's like a big gap there. But it's because I don't think our walls are entirely even. So it made it a little hard to like make everything flush. But over here, we're going to just caulk it so that it um, fills in that gap. 
Um, but we did a great job. Good job, honey. He is like the super detail oriented, like has to measure everything. So it helps a ton. Honestly, the most time consuming part was knowing where to put the first set of vertical ones like knowing the measurements and then after that it's a breeze you just lay everything on and i'll go ahead and link down below the videos that helped us out um there's two videos the first video is like basically a beginner's guide on how to do a, a wall like this tells you all the materials you need and that's the one we watched and then the second video shows you how to measure um everything to know where to put the first set of boards so yeah, overall, pretty simple. I'm glad that we took the risk in doing it. And we're going to take a break right now. It's 5 o'clock, so we've been here for how many hours? Well, we had to take a break because Eric had to go buy a nail gun. I've been here like three. But, so we've been almost here for like four. almost four hours. And we're going to take a break. We're going to walk Coda. Well, we're going to play with Coda in the back. I'm going to take a food break because all we've had is some smoothies after breakfast. So I think I'm going to have some leftover soup from yesterday. Wow, looks great, babe. I love it. just restocked on my coffees and I made myself a nice coffee for the past like a week and a half I've been using the Starbucks pods that they sell at Target but you can really tell the difference between the Starbucks pods and the Nespresso pods like the coffee isn't as creamy then the espresso isn't as creamy so I was definitely missing my Nespresso pods and I can't do iced coffee with my Starbucks pods so I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to be reunited. Okay, on to more important things. We finally finished the batten wall and I wanna show you guys how it turned out. Here's how it turned out. Please excuse our bed, we haven't made it yet. I absolutely love how it turned out. I'm so, so, so proud of us. I'm so happy for us. This is definitely a beginner friendly like DIY project. This was the first time Eric ever used an electric saw and our first time really doing anything like this and I think we did pretty well. Um, definitely ran into some bumps in the road like the grouting, we were horrible at it. Um, but for the most part, we did a great job. Don't wanna be too hard on ourselves, but basically let me walk you guys through what we did after we put up the, um, I forgot what this is called, but the board itself. So after we put it up, we, well not us, but my dad actually came and grouted for us because for example, here there was gaps um, and all across the ceiling there was gaps and sometimes like between the two where the two panels meet there were gaps so he came grouted them and also puttied them like so now you can't see any of the like where they meet he did a great job we had such a hard time figuring out grouting because it, it was hard to use the gun but also um and puttying but the reason why we had trouble putting slash spackling was because I was using the wrong thing. I was using wall joint compound, but you're not supposed to use that. You're supposed to use wood. Let me, let me show you guys what putty it is. You probably have seen it before, but this is the putty that we were supposed to use. So that's why we were having a hard time, but my dad came and helped us out, thankfully. This is the putty you're supposed to use. It's a wood filler and i was using wood compound so that's why we were having such a hard time but yeah after he puttied i just sanded everything down with the sandpaper and then i painted and then we're done honestly this project took so much longer than we thought it would we started on saturday and yesterday was tuesdays when we finished and moved everything back into the room so definitely took longer than expected but so worth it because i feel like the room feels a little less empty now yeah it feels like it has some kind of character you know we didn't put the lamps back on because i actually want to spray paint them black right now they're like a beige rosy color and i feel like it matches a little too much with the space so i want to spray paint them black to give them like an antique look and like a worn look this is the current color on them they actually have like a red undertone i just think it would look a lot more like 
um, antique if it was black. So I'm going to spray paint these black. And I think I want to try to find different toppers. Um, and then we're good to go. Okay, this looks so much better. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. I didn't get these little crevices in here, but I actually think I like the way it looks like that. I feel like it makes it look a little bit more worn in. So we are done. This is about as much project as we're gonna do in our bedroom for a while. I'm really happy with how these turned out. I think it adds like a nice contrast and I think I wanna switch out the handles on the nightstands to a more to a black handle or maybe I could just spray paint these another time. I, I think it'll look a little bit better that way, but we're done. This is the final, final touches. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out today's video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this long but worth it project. I will leave down below all the resources that helped us, all the videos that we watched. I would say that this project is very beginner friendly. I mean, it was the first time Eric ever used an electric saw or a nail gun, and we did pretty good. So definitely learned a few things throughout the process, but I do feel more confident doing more projects now. I think this is a great place to start if you're looking to, you know, add a little bit of character to a room. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.